Can you see the cat yet? Can you find the cat? Yeah, there she is. There's the cat. Okay guys, so I'm going to work a little bit on the puzzle. I know it's not going very fast. I haven't worked on it for about three days though because of my head. But as you can see we have it on this uh, frame. And this frame we can like turn around and work on whichever side we want to work on. And it makes it really nice that it's a movable puzzle. And also sometimes tubes can sit here. This is the puzzle I'm working on. I don't know if we'll ever get it finished, but once we do, it's going to be mod podged and framed. <laughs> so anyway, um, right now I'm looking at tree pieces. Um, the pieces that have the blue, you would think that that would be easy, right? You would think, hey, it's the only part of the puzzle that has blue. Yeah, it's not as easy as you would think. Anyhow, we have gotten more of the tree done on this side. We've gotten a little bit up in this corner. And that's about it. <laughs> so, but I thought I would give you guys an update. And I'm sitting under my happy light, even though I took a walk outside and got some sunshine, natural sunshine. I'm going to go ahead and get some more of the simulated sunshine here. And uh, work on my puzzle for a little bit. So this is just one of the things I'm choosing to do this afternoon. Um, John's in doing some work on the computer, book work for tax time. And I am going to do this and then maybe watch a little bit of a show until he gets ready to come in and watch some more of that documentary. So, it'd be really nice if I could get one piece in for you guys, wouldn't it? <laughs> So you can see that I actually do this, but, uh, and I am the one that does the majority of it. John comes over, if I beg him to, if I get stuck and there's a part I really need for him to look at, he'll come over. And then when Katie's home, she'll look. And then Karen, Karen and Matt took a look at it the other night, but they weren't here for very long, so they couldn't do any serious looking. I think Matt looked long enough just to tell me I should start buying smaller puzzles. <laughs> and then I reminded him that it was he and his wife that gave me that puzzle for Christmas. <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, now that I think about it, I think you might be right. <laughs> so I told him that it was his responsibility for now on to make sure that I get smaller puzzles. I said that I shouldn't have puzzles any any larger than 750 pieces. This one is a thousand piece plus, so I was making a joke that I shouldn't have any any bigger than 750. And John came back with, I think I'd stick to 500, so <laughs> even he was somewhat surprised by how complicated this puzzle is. And then Karen mentioned the fact that it says, larger size pieces for easy grip. And she was like, if this is a larger size piece, how small are the tiny ones? <laughs> so we've all, we've all had a lot of fun with this puzzle. Don't know that's ever going to get together, but we've all, we've all had a lot of fun with it. So, And it would be really cool if while sitting here I could put in a piece for you and say, look guys, I got one. But I can literally come over here four and five times a day and maybe find one or two pieces. It's just a very complicated puzzle. <laughs> I had a friend, Richard Adam. He not only did thousand piece puzzles, I mean, he did even larger than that, but he would do 3D puzzles. Those 3D ones, he's done like the, the Capitol building and 
I can't remember all of them that he's done, but he has done 3D buildings. And I'm just like, I can't even get one side done. <laughs> and I remember when he when he did the Capitol building, it was like all of it's white. You know, how do you do an all white 3D thousand plus piece puzzle? But his brain was just very analytical and he could just work those and it was always amazing. So, and, and he was really funny because he was always challenging himself. So he would actually time himself as to how long it would take him to put a puzzle together. Uh, and keep it in little notebooks. The fond memories that different things bring back. You know, like the Afghan bringing back the fond memories of my mother. You know, and working puzzles bringing back the fond memory of Richard. I mean, I have always worked puzzles. I, as a child, you know, my mom would always make sure we had a puzzle table. And when my children were young, we always had a puzzle table, of course, with easier puzzles. Karen made the joke. I made a joke one day about, I cannot get this thousand piece puzzle together. And she goes, well, she goes, Mom, I'm still working on the 12 and 24 piece ones. Because, <laughs> you know, Emma and Jeffrey are still small. And I said, well, honey, I said, the thing is, is as the children get older, you will get better at the puzzles. But I said, I may have reached my limit on this one. Anyhow, um, where was I going with it? Oh, the memories that different things will bring back. So, yeah, working on the Afghans, I think of my mom or my sister even. Um, working on the puzzles, you know, I think of Richard and how my mom was always instilling thinking analytical things, projects. Um, anyhow. So, yeah, I've just not seen anything right now. So I'm going to turn you guys off so I can concentrate. You're distracting me. I can't, I can't look at the puzzle, but if I'm talking to you, so talk to you guys later.